Well guys, today we're back with the Rice Fiesta. I'm gonna open this beautiful monster, the best monster they've ever made this is. Um, today's jobs are to basically start stripping the whole engine bay out. So I'm gonna take the bottom arms off, various other little bits, cables, all that sort of stuff. Ready to push the ST170 engine sort of underneath. That's the big plan. I've got a couple of bits to take off the engine as well. Bell, power steering, little bits and bobs. But we'll talk you through all that. Big things are happening with this thing. I'm really, really excited about it. And TSW on the front. A lot of guys I've noticed have asked about them. I haven't bought any 17 inch ones yet. These are still the 15 inch ones that we tried on many moons ago. They will be going. I do want 17 inch TSWs for this. So if anybody's generous enough and find some, they're in a four by 100 fitment as well. Oh, let me know, holler at me. Anyway, let's get in the engine bay, start building. So taking a look around at what I've just done, I've dropped the bottom arms off, um, mainly so we can get to these parts as well. You guys may remember, start of this year I think, I actually put um, from the inside, screwdriver through the car, um, just literally trying to find as much rust as we could back then to see what we had to deal with now so we could end it, sort of, especially the rust repair, at a certain point in the car. So when we got to this part, we could just hit it all in one thing, because this again is gonna be sandblasted at the front here. So, how bad all that is, it's literally rotten here. And I think as we come round, yeah, just there as well, right through the bottom of the car. So yeah, you guys get the gist as to what is going on there. But taking these front arms off, we're gonna um, be replacing them, making them really nice as well. Getting those off as well, so I'm able to use as much space on here so this is as open as it's gonna get and now making the engine basically as small as it can so I'm gonna take off the power steering, I'm gonna take off the air conditioning as well because those are two things we're not gonna need in putting this engine in and then we're gonna lower the car down, see how she fits. Okay, so I'm gonna start by taking the belt off. This actually has a tension just there, pull that up and I'll be able to release the belt on the actual side of the engine which is pretty easy. Obviously, not every car is that easy now obviously we're going to be using a shorter belt than this um, when it comes to it because we won't have these two spinning round when the engine's on and I don't think we're going to be using the power steering either just to make it a little bit easier for us to get this engine in. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to do was um, just loosen off these engine mount bolts. We haven't taken this part of the engine mount off, we obviously took this part off. Um, just in case we need to release this off in a minute, I've just hand tightened the bolts up there. But literally what I want to do is put this under the car now and see how far away we really are from getting this in the Fiesta. Super exciting moment because this is about as small, I'm going to take that off really as well, but this is about as small as we're going to be able to get the engine before it actually goes under the car. As I'm at the front of the car here, I might as well take the front brakes off as well because we are going to be using the ST170 discs uh, and the calipers to literally go with the theme of the ST170 where I have them, I might as well use them. So, let's get these off. Quite easy. 17, I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Obviously upping the brake horsepower in this thing. Well, those have got green stuff pads, look at that. How old are those pads? A bit of life left in them. But I wanted to go full on ST. We might as well, the brakes are there. So getting these on 
Painting the caliper's nice as well. I think that would be quite nice. Do it right up. Again, nothing I do on this channel is ever a how-to, because at the end of the day, I'm learning at the same time. <laughs> learning that that is a nice noise we like that noise it's a good noise so learning you know about different cars especially <laughs> on camera is sometimes a hard task because i do feel i get called out quite a lot but at least i'm trying that's what it's all about never owned a ford in my life this is the first one and i'm completely restoring it someone also asked the other day when i was going to finish this a lot of questions about when it's going to be finished the reality of getting this finished was far as getting a car restored at the end of the day you know as you saw in the last video we scrapped the focus so that is a good point engines out ready to go this still needs a lot of work there's a lot of rust and stuff so just clearing up some thoughts that people may have had from the last videos especially is that getting that to the point getting the engine to the point it can go in and out means that we can then get to the rust point which means that we can get to the paint point as well it's all getting there it's all getting there <laughs> Slip off. Fight of rust! The fight of rust! Oh, they are rusty! Rusty! Woo. Good stuff again. A little bit of brake fluid. We don't want a little bit of brake fluid. But yeah, oh, look at this one, it's out. Yeah, we won't really be using them again. It's again like every other car that's sort of been sat around. You want to do this and pads anyway, I think. With something that's been sat, you know, rotting away for this long. I'd want to replace these anyway. And a Martin appeared in the video because I hope he's been finished yet. Look where he's been sound lasting. Loving life. Look at this. Oh, it's so dusty right now. You're a dusty guy. Right, we're sort of at the point, I think, where we've made some sort of wooden thing. You. Down here. I'll show you this part. You. I'm this. Some wooden. some wooden contraption. So we can get the. Uh, Engine crane out, just like that. Lower the uh, Fiesta down and see exactly what is going on, because I don't know at this point. No one knows. Took the mount off. Took the mount off, that I loosened earlier in the video, as you guys would have seen. Right, this is the moment of truth. Right. So we're gonna have to maneuver parts of the engine, parts of the car around to actually make this happen. So yeah, placing this sort of in the engine would be harder if everything was still on there, so you guys know, I've just taken off aircon, steer and pump, all that good stuff. Oh, we're going back down. We're going back down. We're going back down. Come on, going back down. Down. Till I say stop. Back in oh. <laughs> right, so lowering the Fiesta down, we've noticed a couple of things. We've removed the fuel line, but the main obstruction is the brake master cylinder, which. We do have the focus one. I don't want to put a pedal box in it just by removing no, that. It's, it's not box is lots of money for no real reason. So And for a terrible pedal. And for a terrible pedal. We still have to have that. We did sort of know this was coming. We did talk to someone that had already done this and they said about that, didn't they? In the back of it, the back of there, is a shaft. Shaft. You press the pedal, the pressure. Yeah. Now on this one is the focus one's really short. That one's really long. That one might take the grinder. Shorten the bracket, shorten it, bring it closer. Mm. Which will open up the engine bay a bit more, means the engine can come up a bit more. Yeah, we don't want it up much, we don't want it up a little bit. We only want it to go as far as we need it to go. Obviously the bonnet's literally there, isn't it? So yeah. We're so close, like th this video, the anticipation of this happening, let's be honest guys, has been quite serious, isn't it? So, break my cylinder out. And that is pretty smooth. And that's, that's smooth sailing. I, show me some gaps. Let, let's show, come with me guys. Let's go for a close up. Let's look at gaps as to where we are right now so gap down here not bad not bad so um, that is the gap here that is the original engine mount so we're gonna lock, we'll lock that off anyway yeah so we'll be cutting that so there's enough space and the mount will then go everything. we're gonna make something nice here so that sits onto that yeah so your original focus mount here and then onto the fiesta there yeah, so there's uh, enough space uh, for it there it's quite it's quite there. simple really this will all, plate all this up nice yeah. make, make that look nice make that structurally, make that look. structurally nice and come around this side this is a gear selector this is the weight that which they say is, is always yeah. in the way so that is in fact right in the way because of this and here. which again we knew sort of it was coming and just up there as well so not a million miles away no. but the only reason it's not higher and actually right there is this we sort of knew that was coming anyway we'll come back let's come back to my mind 
in so this view. And we get down, we get down low. So if you imagine drive shaft, take the, take the right side, passenger side, you see yep. where the drive shaft would be. Yeah. Compared to where it needs to go into the box. So if you yeah. There, yeah. So it. we'll we'll show you exactly where we because the engine has got to be at a certain point in the car. For obviously, the drive shaft to come out, meet the hub. That has to be exact, basically, doesn't it? Well, it? <laughs> so that's, that's not actually that bad. No. That's that's genuinely impressive. I'm I'm actually quite happy about that. That's now, not that far away. No, but now what you remember is when you put the wheels on. Yeah. And it. All right. And it, <laughs> it's right in the face. And it, <laughs> and it compresses up. Yeah. It's shocking the wheel, gonna go higher up. Which, which means the drive shaft will then be like movement. That. So Needs we need to movement. get the engine higher so that it comes a bit more like, like that. that. Yeah, like that angle. So when it does go, That's right. it'll it'll meet it yeah. when it comes down to and the ground. Look, the engine just isn't quite high enough. Yeah, it isn't quite what do you think, spatially. Oh look at the key! Hello! Not even interested in rice fiestas. Literally just walked straight out when he saw that. God, what a joke, eh? See, <laughs> See you later, mate. But yeah, we are close. The engine just needs to come up a little bit more. I reckon we want to come up another three inches. Three inches? Yeah. Three inches is a good number, mate. It's the number that we're going to have to work with. So I think we'll take the uh, master cylinder off quick. And that might be our three inches for now. Yeah. Until we... Let's do it. <laughs> right, so I've just jumped in the car. We've got this bracket off. Look at that, and that's off, look at this. So, the idea being, we're cutting this down, at least the pedal in it, to actually get this engine in. Hopefully, that works, what are you saying? Are you saying that works? Yes, that works. And RIP to your thumb, where is it? Mate, it's, oh, no. Now, I've taken the brake master cylinder off, we've noticed that the manifold, you can see, literally, bulges out. So we're going to take the whole manifold off for now because we're going to probably put some nice fancy manifold on there anyway. That's literally stopping it because this bar that we're putting down here is touching it as the engine's coming down or, you know, the car's going up. So with the uh, manifold off, I think we should be pretty much clear. We knew, again, that this was going to come. We knew that there'd be little bits and bobs on me that should put the engine in. We're going to be in the way because nothing new. We knew it was coming. about what an inch, inch and a half out yeah. um, which is where the alternator is touching the original engine mount that's about where it's doing I, th I think that's where it's going yeah, yeah. yeah so original engine mount will all have to be chopped off for that to actually be a reality um, that's the only thing in the way I think isn't it? The original engine mount off because it's in the way. So grinders coming out. This car has taken how many discs do you reckon this car's taken so far? Eight two. On the Sorry, eight two on the battery tray. Put a car up below, right? Tell me how many. This is now going to chew up. Probably not even one. If, it's, if we're betting, if we're betting, it's not really sure what you get when you win, but you just you you know you're a winner. But you knew you were a winner anyway because you're watching this channel. You're winners anyway. Oh. Such nice guys. Such nice guys. The one. <laughs> one already. Wow. Yes. <clears throat> Number three. That's four, that is. That's, that's number four right there. That's it. We're done. So how many discs does it take to cut an engine mount out of the Mark III Fiesta? The answer is four. Martin just proved it. If anybody ever wanted to know, it's four. Down we go! So yeah, getting the engine position is quite critical in this build because you want to make sure the drive shaft's going just showing you that like a couple of minutes ago, but getting this exact is going to be hard. That's why Martin's doing it, not me. 
The bonnet closes as well, look at this. Oh, hello! Cutting the original engine mount out of here. Nice, looks nice, nice bit of cutage there, mate. Right, guys, so, end of the video. We accomplished a lot again today, which is a very nice thing. Um, cut a lot out. The engine's in, look. The engine's like in it, in it, in it. We've just um, mopped up the mount as well, just to sort of have a look, but. You're happy, aren't you? Mm. I'm happy. This is a good part. This is a good part. We've, we've, we've motored on. We've motored on. We've done a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work is going into this. Like even behind the scenes, the hours that we're putting into this car are on another level. And I hope you guys appreciate it big time. If you haven't already, subscribe. Martin's a legend as usual. Look at that face. I'm just dreaming you're free monster. Yeah, you can have one. as many as you want, mate. Many you want. Monster, please support this channel by sending me us pink ones because it would work. This, this is what's fueling this car, I tell you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys.